the James Webb Space Telescope has just sent a shocking message that has left all NASA scientists silent. The largest optical telescope in space has been observing different components of our vast universe for years, revealing various phenomena. However, the recent image has sent shockwaves through the world of science and astronomy. What terrifying image has the James Webb Telescope captured? Could it have photographed an alien space in the far reaches of space? Join us as we explore the terrifying new images that the James Webb Telescope has just revealed, images we have never witnessed before. If you're interested in keeping up to date with news from the universe and its surroundings, subscribe to our channel, be sure to like this video, and turn on the notifications. NASA's $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope was launched from the European Space Agency in French Guiana. Once it arrived at its new cosmic home, this infrared observatory has provided stunning views of the cosmos to scientists and astronomers. As the largest and most advanced space telescope to date, scientists were thrilled to see the first scientific images captured by the telescope. However, what they saw nearly left them petrified. When the James Webb turned its instruments toward the iconic pillars of creation, it captured the famous dust clouds in incredible detail. These pillars are located in the constellation Serpens, about 7,000 light-years away from Earth. The pillars of creation are part of the Eagle Nebula, large clouds of gas and dust that were first photographed by the Hubble Space Telescope in 1995. Since then, the extraordinary beauty of the pillars has been revealed. The new photograph captured by the James Webb Space Telescope reveals the pillars of creation in even greater detail. Several stars are visible that were not visible in the previous image captured by Hubble, some of which formed only a few hundred thousand years ago. This represents a remarkable scientific breakthrough, but on reflection, it's not possible to say with certainty whether they are direct constructions of extraterrestrials. The James Webb Space Telescope has also scanned the so-called Pandora Cluster in a stunning image, taking its cue from Greek mythology, where Pandora's curiosity led to the opening of a vessel that released all the evils and hardships in the world. The analogy applies here. In this case, the James Webb Telescope has done something similar by focusing on a specific region of space called Pandora's Cluster, an idea predicted by Albert Einstein in 1915. These new images perplex scientists as they reveal details they were unaware of in this region of space. However, it is important to note that this area of space has a formal name, known as Abel 2744, which is part of the Pandora Cluster. This cluster arises from the observation of a variety of distinct structures within it. What is fascinating about this image is that it's been observed before, but only the central core of space has been studied by the Hubble Space Telescope. This implies that many significant secrets remain to be discovered in this intriguing region of space. Until the James Webb directed its powerful infrared instrument into the area to observe the Pandora Cluster, the observing team employed the Large Telescope's Near Infrared Spectrograph NIR spec, and Near Infrared Camera NIRCAM, as part of the deep observation program prior to the ionization epoch. Four snapshots were taken and then combined into a panoramic image. This panoramic image revealed approximately 5,000 infrared light sources in the Pandora Cluster, which is about 3.5 billion light years away. The image captured by the James Webb Telescope achieved an impressive balance between depth and breadth, which could change our perception of galactic evolution. A highlight of the image is a bright foreground star in the Milky Way, with unique diffraction peaks produced by the James Webb Space Telescope. Also visible are bright sources of white light surrounded by a hazy globe corresponding to much more distant galaxies within the Pandora Cluster. Although human-developed technology is crucial to the observation of this galaxy cluster, astronomers also relied on a natural phenomenon proposed by Albert Einstein in his theory of gravity known as general relativity, published in 1915. In addition to fascinating discoveries that excite scientists and astronomers, the James Webb Telescope has captured strange space phenomena that even scientists cannot fully explain. One such enigma is the mysterious concentric rings found around a distant star, which have yet to be fully understood by astronomers. The image was posted on Twitter by a citizen scientist, which generated a torrent of comments and debate among the user community. The image showed that a star called WR140 was surrounded by regular wave-like circles that gradually faded away. What was striking, however, was that the circles were not perfectly round but had a somewhat square appearance. This immediately gave rise to theories about a possible extraterrestrial origin. However, some scientists argued that it was simply nature performing something that seemed impossible when viewed from a single point of view. Sometimes natural phenomena may seem extraordinary from certain perspectives but have simple explanations. Nevertheless, questions remain, why do they have that particular shape, and why are they so regular? These questions have troubled scientists like Mark McCoffrian, 
who was not the only one concerned about this puzzling image. Mark McCoffrian, an interdisciplinary scientist with the James Webb Science Working Group and a science advisor to the European Space Agency, called the featured image wacky in a Twitter thread. He explained that the pointed blue structure is an artifact due to the optical diffraction from the bright star WR140 in the image. However, he noted that the red curvature is real and represents a series of shells around WR140 in space. Although NASA is expected to have something to say about this, it is anticipated to make a statement soon. In general, young stars tend to glow bright blue, while over time they take on a more reddish glow as they consume their fuel and cool. Astronomers did not expect to see old red stars in the ancient galaxy for which the James Webb Space Telescope was built, nor did they expect to find more massive galaxies that could be up to a billion times more massive than the Sun. These red dots revealed in the images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope appeared to be 50 times more massive. According to Jehan Karteltiep, the most massive galaxies in our sample are estimated to have masses between two and four times less than that of the Milky Way. This discovery is astonishing since galaxies as massive as ours were found when the universe was only 3% of its present age. Karteltiep also mentioned that before astronomers start rewriting cosmological theories to explain how these galaxies came together so quickly after the Big Bang, they will need to make sure that the strange red dots they are observing are not something else. However, most alternative explanations would also require entirely new concepts. For example, stars in the early universe could emit light in exotic ways due to a lack of heavy elements, which are not incorporated into our models. The images that revealed these puzzling galaxies were obtained by Webb's near-infrared camera, NIRCAM, as part of the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science SUERS, program. The team plans to return soon to these galaxies and the wider mirror to obtain spectra of light from distant points. The spectra decompose the observed light according to its composition into wavelengths, thus revealing the chemical and physical properties of its source. Most importantly, the spectra provide very precise distances to these objects. As Karteltiep says, the distance and identity of these objects are correlated, if we know the distance, we can build the identity, and vice versa. A spectrum will tell us fairly immediately if our hypothesis is correct. Just six months after Webb's images were made public, scientists are being forced to rewrite theories about the early universe. Observing the early universe for the first time has led us to find something so unexpected that it actually poses problems for science in general, as it calls into question the whole picture of early galaxy formation. Another amazing image captured by the Webb Space Telescope shows the ghost galaxy, which looks like a wormhole spinning before our eyes. This new image, based on deep space data, highlights the dust lanes of galaxy NGC 628, or Messier 74, previously known as the perfect spiral because of its symmetry. The ghost galaxy is interesting from a scientific point of view because of the intermediate mass black hole that scientists believe is at its core. Although the ghost galaxy has been imaged numerous times, including by space observatories such as the Hubble Space Telescope and the Widefield Infrared Survey Explorer, the web images stand out because of the near-infrared range that revealed cosmic dust. Combined with the power of its unique 18-segment hexagonal mirror and its location in deep space, the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has ushered in a new era of astronomical discovery, extending our understanding of the universe in unprecedented ways. Its observations have not only enhanced our knowledge of cosmic structures but have also raised intriguing questions about the nature of the cosmos and the fundamental processes that govern it. As JWST continues to deliver groundbreaking results, it is reshaping the landscape of modern astronomy and challenging long-held theories. One of the key aspects of JWST's mission is its ability to peer into the early universe with unparalleled clarity. By capturing light from some of the first galaxies formed after the Big Bang, JWST provides crucial insights into galaxy formation and evolution. These early observations help astronomers understand the conditions that led to the formation of large-scale structures in the universe. The telescope's powerful infrared capabilities allow it to detect the faint, redshifted light from these ancient galaxies, which is crucial for studying the universe's infancy. Recent observations have revealed galaxies that appear to be much more developed than previously thought possible at such an early stage in the universe's history. This discovery challenges existing models of galaxy formation, which traditionally posited that large, complex galaxies took billions of years to evolve. Instead, the images from JWST suggest that massive galaxies may have formed much earlier than anticipated, prompting astronomers to reconsider their theories about how and when galaxy formation occurred. In addition to its deep space capabilities, JWST has also provided new insights into the processes occurring within our own galaxy. 
One of the most intriguing findings has been the detailed study of protoplanetary disks, the regions around young stars where planets form. By analyzing the composition and structure of these disks, astronomers can gain a better understanding of the early stages of planetary formation and the conditions that lead to the development of habitable worlds. JWST's observations have also shed light on the behavior of black holes, particularly those located at the centers of galaxies. The telescope's ability to observe the interactions between black holes and their surrounding environments has provided new information about the growth and evolution of these enigmatic objects. By studying the accretion disks and jets associated with black holes, astronomers can gain insights into the processes that drive the evolution of galaxies and the role that black holes play in shaping the universe. The discoveries made by JWST are not limited to distant galaxies and black holes. The telescope has also contributed to our understanding of stellar evolution and the life cycles of stars. By observing stars at various stages of their development, from protostars to supernova remnants, JWST has provided new insights into the processes that govern the birth, life, and death of stars. These observations are crucial for understanding the chemical enrichment of the universe and the distribution of elements necessary for life. JWST's contributions to exoplanet research are also significant. The telescope's ability to observe the atmospheres of exoplanets in unprecedented detail has allowed scientists to study the chemical composition and physical properties of these distant worlds. By analyzing the spectra of exoplanetary atmospheres, astronomers can search for signs of habitability and potential biosignatures. JWST's observations have already identified several exoplanets with atmospheres rich in water vapor, a key ingredient for life as we know it. As JWST continues to explore the cosmos, its findings are expected to lead to further breakthroughs in our understanding of the universe. The telescope's ability to observe the universe in the infrared spectrum allows it to peer through cosmic dust and gas, revealing hidden structures and processes that were previously inaccessible to astronomers. This capability is particularly important for studying regions of space where stars and planets are actively forming, as well as for investigating the mysterious phenomena that occur near black holes. The James Webb Space Telescope has already proven to be an invaluable tool for advancing our understanding of the universe. Its observations have not only challenged existing theories but have also opened new avenues of research in astrophysics and cosmology. As scientists continue to analyze the data collected by JWST, it is likely that the telescope will continue to uncover new mysteries and provide answers to some of the most fundamental questions about the nature of the cosmos.